The left is on a path of chaos. Started with George Soros and spending millions of dollars to elect DAs all over this country so that when there would be violence in the streets and they would be arrested, guess what? The Soros attorneys let them out. So first you had to corrupt the district attorneys. Then you had to have riots in the streets. Chaos. That's what the left wants. Chaos. And you had to have an open border. What do you have in an open border? Chaos. For 30 years now, we've had people coming across the border, and we apprehend about 435,000 a year, almost every year. In 2002, the Chamber of Commerce said there were 10.5 million illegal immigrants in this country. That was 2002. And you keep hearing the media say there are 11 million here. Folks, we have over 30 million people here illegally. And now we are facing apprehending 2 million this year crossing the border. And if we catch one out of three, that's another four, five, or six million crossing the border. The U.S. Constitution says in Article 4, Section 4, the U.S. government must guarantee to every state a Republican form of government and protect each state from invasion and domestic violence. This administration under Biden and Harris are violating the Constitution, Article 4, Section 4, that not one founding father ever dreamed that we'd have a president one day that would want to destroy our borders, that would celebrate violence in our streets. The Constitution was not written for a party with a label of Democrats. It was not written for a president named Biden because they don't honor it. They don't respect it. They want to tear it up. And they're trying to tear it up every day. And you see it every day. What's happening on the border today? What's happening on the border today is not an accident. It's purposeful. It's a design plan. Why are they letting millions of people pour across this border? Because they want to turn them into citizens, turn them into voters, and take over this country. It's nothing unusual that people want to come to America. Everybody wants to come to America. No one's breaking into Russia or China. <laughs> Look what happened to California. It used to be a Republican state, a conservative state. And over time, the border, again, people coming here for their own families, for their own desires, for their own dreams. But what happened over time, it totally changed the government in California to now where it's one of the bluest states in the country. If you look at Florida, they have immigration, people coming into that state, but they're freeing communism. That's what they're fleeing, communism and socialism. It's a, it's a different reason they're coming in. And in Texas, we are the last man standing. There are a lot of conservative and red states around the country, but if we fall, America falls. The electoral votes of New York, California, and New York combined together means we could never elect a conservative or Republican to the White House ever again. I can tell you that as a lieutenant governor of this great state that I'm blessed and honored to serve, we're not ever going to let that happen. What are the Democrats going to offer in 2022 to Texas? Beto O'Rourke, who wants to take our guns? As, as John Wayne and Buddy Holly both said, that'll be the day. Are we going to let their other top candidate, Julian Castro, who wants to open border all of the time, become the governor or lieutenant governor of Texas in 2022? No, that'll be the day. Are we going to let a party that would kill more babies in the womb, that would have more men competing with girls and taking their trophies and their scholarships and their dreams away,